Since we've been exploring folders in the past few videos, now might be a good time to look at some advanced folder customization options. So let's launch the folder options control panel item. The easiest way to do this is from a Windows Explorer window, click on Organize here and choose Folder and Search Options. OK, so this is the Folder Options window. It's not changed a great deal from Windows Vista or Windows XP, although you may notice at the top here, the Tasks options have disappeared. If you want the old-fashioned style menus at the top of your Windows Explorer windows here, you'll need to cancel this box, go to Organize, Layout, Menu Bar. Right, let's go back to Folder and Search Options. OK, what options do we have? Well, there's this option here that lets us open up each new folder in its own Windows Explorer window. Recall how in Video 6 we opened up two Explorer windows? Well, if this option is enabled, then every time you double click on a folder, a new Windows Explorer window will open. I personally don't like this option, as I find it clutters up my desktop with Windows too quickly. And I prefer to choose when to open a new window, just like in Tutorial 6 so I'll leave that option as the default. Then we have the click items options down here. If you struggle with double clicking you can change this option here. Now you only need to point to an item to select it and click once to open it. I personally find I end up opening files by accident with this setting enabled but lots of users prefer it so again entirely up to you. Now I have two options for the navigation pane. The navigation pane is this area of a Windows Explorer window here on the left. Clicking on Show All Folders changes the layout of the navigation pane so that we can see our personal folder on the desktop. I'll just click Apply so you can see what that looks like. OK, as you can see, you can see a lot more folders now on the navigation pane. Just deselect that, switch back so you can see the difference. Again, entirely up to personal preference how you have your navigation pane. You get a much more compact view with this option deselected. What does automatically expand to current folder do? Well, say I want to explore my computer here computer, say I went to the C drive, users folder, my personal folder and then music. Notice that the navigation pane down here hasn't actually changed. Now if I were to tick or check this box and then hit apply, if we go back to our other Windows Explorer window, we can see that the navigation pane has changed on its own and to change to point its location to the same location we browsed to. Just minimise that for now. Again, entirely up to you how you have these options set. You can also revert to the default settings at any time by clicking Restore Defaults and then clicking Apply. So, let's move on to the View tab. Now, this Apply to Folders button we can use this to set the current view across all folders of the same type or as Windows says you can apply the view such as details or icons that you are using for this folder to all folders of this type. What does that mean? Well if I cancel this for now go back to my music folder and say I liked details view for folders with music in them if I come to Organize, Folder and Search Options, then View again. Now if I click Apply to Folders, all music folders would be shown in Details view whenever they are opened up in Windows Explorer. We'll look at folder properties in more detail in another tutorial. Below that control we have the Advanced Options. 
Now, there's too many to cover in one video, so we'll just drill down to the important ones. Feel free to experiment with other options. You cannot damage your computer, and you can always revert back to the defaults by clicking Restore Defaults. So firstly, I want to show you the Hidden Files and Folders setting. If I cancel out for a moment, and go to my C drive, Now I'll go back in again, view, and choose the Show Hidden Folders and Drives option, and hit Apply. You'll see a new folder has appeared with a faint or ghosted icon here. This is a hidden folder. Why is it hidden? Well, usually folders are hidden because you don't need to access them or indeed because if you did access them and modify their contents you could cause your computer to stop working. Having said that, sometimes when you are maintaining computers or perhaps if a technical support representative asks you to do so you do need to go into these folders and make changes. But please be careful if you do. Likewise you can also untick or uncheck this hide protected operating system files box. Windows will also warn you that this is potentially dangerous. Let's click yes just to show you what happens. Then hit apply. Now you'll see even more hidden files and folders appear. These are operating system files and folders and are critical to the smooth running of your computer. If you modify them you can cause serious damage to your machine and even stop it working altogether. So again better to leave this alone and hide those folders out of view unless you really know what you're doing. Finally I want to mention the hide extensions for known file types option. Now we cover exactly what this means in our working with files tutorials and you can find the link in the notes below the video. Basically Files on your computer have a dot or period character followed by a three letter extension after their name. This is to help Windows identify them. For a Word document it is usually .doc. For a JPEG photograph it's usually .jpg. With this option enabled, Windows hides that information from you. Now I personally think this can be confusing, so I normally turn it off. But if you do turn it off, keep in mind that if you rename a file and accidentally remove its extension, Windows won't know how to handle that file anymore. Let me give you an example of what I mean. I'll turn the option off and click Apply. Now, let's go to Users, Matt, My Music. And we can see this file is now called caramelDansen.mp3. Let's rename this file. What if I accidentally removed these characters here? Well, Windows will warn us that if we change the file extension, the file might become unusable. Let's click Yes. Now you can see Windows isn't sure what type of file this is and so you can't right click and play with media player for example. Let's rename it again and put the extension back. OK, now Windows instantly recognizes the file as a music file. Again, I always prefer to see the file extensions when I'm browsing through my files. I think it makes it easier to see what type of file it is at a glance, but there are arguments for doing it either way, so the choice is yours. OK, that's all I wanted to show you with regards to Windows 7 folder options. Don't forget that if you make some experimental changes and don't like the results, you can always use the Restore Defaults button and then Apply to revert things back to the way they were.